Welcome back to the race for the White House. A new poll shows Trump leading by 13 points among Catholics. Joining us right now is Fox News religion contributor, Father Jonathan Morris. Father Jonathan, good to see you. Thank you so Happy much Sunday. for joining us. So, so Trump with a significant lead here. Why is he appealing to Catholic voters? You know, it, it's very strange because Catholics went for Democrats in the last two elections. And really, that they've polled just basically like general election, you know, like, like everyone in the United States. They, they pretty much match the general electorate. In this poll, if it's true, that is huge for yeah. Trump. Um, be why? Because that it, it means that there's a significant change from the last two elections. And uh, we'll see if the poll is, is, is accurate or not. Yeah, I mean, Trump and Clinton are also working for the Hispanic vote, obviously, two days until the election. Listen to this. Folks living in the inner cities, crime-ridden. You can't walk to the store and buy a loaf of bread. You get shot. The education is the worst. And there's no jobs. And I say to the Hispanic community living in the inner city, to the African-American community, I say, what the hell do you have to lose? Imagine it's Donald Trump standing in front of the Capitol. And we already know a lot about him. Someone who demeans women, mocks people with disabilities, insults African-Americans and Latinos. 300, oh, it's 330, 335,000 more Hispanics have already voted in the crucial state of Florida than they did in 2008. Father Jonathan, you speak Spanish fluently. You say regularly the entire mass in Spanish. So someone with a large population of Hispanic parishioners, what, what do you say to those parishioners? Well, I, I think we have to distinguish in Florida, there's a lot of Cubans, right? And that's a very different voting block than for example, Mexicans, Central Americans, South Americans, that, for example, I, that would be in my parish in New York City. Um, many of those who are coming over from the border in Mexico, et, et cetera, um, they're worried about Donald Trump. The, the, the name Donald Trump does not go over very well in my parish, I guarantee you, right. except by those who have been here for a long time, who have become legal, and they're saying the whole... We've, we've tried with Bill Clinton, we've tried, uh, we've tried with, uh, with uh, President Obama, and they haven't done anything. So you're right, saying the, the illegals, the illegals don't like them. You know what, I think in many, in many cases, people who have been here in this country for a long time have been fed up with both parties. Mm -hmm. and they're, but those who are just brand new to this country are saying, Donald Trump, you know, he's, he's bad, he hates us. Right. Those who have been here for a long time go, wait, hold on. I'm not so sure that the Democrats have been very supportive of Hispanics either. Fa yeah. Father, do you think the, the WikiLeaks stuff that came out related to the Catholic Church uh, is hurting Secretary Clinton, or do you think that the parishioners in your church are unaware of the way she feels, or what's your thought on that? You know, I think uh, what we could call practicing Catholics or church-going Catholics really look at have very similar values to church-going evangelicals when it comes to the voting vote. Uh, in this case, they haven't liked Hillary Clinton for a long time, many of them. Right? Many of them, not all of them, but many of them. Why? Because of her stance on abortion. When she stood up on, that, on the, on the uh, debate stage and defended late-term abortion just with, with coldness like that, they're like, this is not our, our, our candidate. But the problem is Donald Trump has given so many church-going Catholics, Christians, and you know, reason to say, hey, we don't like her, but gosh, what is he going to do? Because of what he said. Yeah. Because, because of what he says time. and what he's done. Yeah. It's like there's a threshold there, mm -hmm. and he's been pushing that threshold for a very long time, in which they say, oh, who are we going to vote for? Yeah. Do yeah. You, how do you feel about the lack of focus on faith during these, this presidential campaign? I'm very glad neither of them are talking about faith. Really? I'm uh, very happy, because we know that neither of them are really regular church-going people. I'm not judging what their beliefs are, but we don't want Hillary Clinton to be getting up there and giving a, a Jesus loves you speech, um, or yeah. Donald Trump to be giving you a Jesus loves you speech, well, that, because that's not that hasn't been a part of their the lives. The evangelical community has come out for Mr. Trump. Why do you think? Because that they is? don't like Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Very simply. Do you think there are going to be fewer people voting at all that, than that you've seen? I don't know. Who understands this election? But you yeah. know what? I, 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 I know there's really a lot of people who are saying, hey. I cannot vote for Hillary Clinton because of my values, and gosh, I don't want to vote for, uh, for Donald Trump, but well, he it might be better. It, it, it might also be issue. Obama's legacy, because let's talk, look, look at this Syrian refugee story. Um, the U.S. has accepted uh, almost 11,000 Syrian refugees, okay? Out of the 11,000, only 56 of them are Christian. Not 56%. Mm. That's 56 people 
of the 10,801, uh, that, that is one half of 1%. Why is that? Why are all the refugees Muslim and not Christian? You know, such a um, small percentage are Christian. I hope it's. I hope there's no, you know, untoward, you know, purpose, intent behind it. But what I think that, that the United States could do, if they're so interested in and in doing it quickly, I don't think there should be a religious test. But if they're so interested in doing it quickly, because these people are running for their lives, well, then somebody who has been a practicing Christian in Syria for many years, you can be sure that they're not radical Islamists. Yeah. Let them in. If, if, you're t if you're worried about making sure that things are quick, well, then this would be a great, great test. Not because we want a religious test, but because it's practical. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is behind last, that? And last year was a record yeah. year for the persecution of Christians around the world. Remember, we've talked about that. Oh, you know, and uh, if we think that we've got, a, you know, religious liberty issues in this country, and I think we do, um, when we look around the world and we see what's going on in the Middle East, um, we should thank God for the freedoms that we do have. You know, as bad as things are in this uh, uh, election cycle, in my opinion, we have, to th we have to be very grateful that we do have the freedoms that we have. Father, before you yep. go, did, did you bring any communion wafers? Because I can skip <coughs> mass later. If, no? Okay, I'm just asking. <laughs> All right, sorry. Do I'm not counting the church this morning? You're, 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 you're leaving me out. It's the 11 o'clock mass I'm not, today. We said no. I'm not allowed to take communion. <laughs> I mean, I am in, I'm just not in the Catholic church, unfortunately. Do you want to hear my confession after this? Oh, why don't we do it right now? It would be much more interesting. Because your dad's on South Stage. So what is in there? What is in that apartment, Kat? Go yeah. ahead. You got your priest go right ahead. here. Let us know. Give us your confession. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, where did this go? Well, you Jonathan, brought it up. It's great you to brought see it up. You. Thank okay. you so much, my Brother pleasure. Jonathan Morris. Happy there. Blessed Sunday, and we got to give each other a big hug at the end of this election, right? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Hug to our viewers too.